What is up, guys? Feverstrike HD here, bringing you another episode of Levels. This is Levels episode two, where you guys put in the comments a bronze, silver, and gold player, and I try to build a hybrid random and am usually successful. It can be any random player, and I build the hybrid random. It's a very fun series for me, very fun series for you. Check it out if in the FIFA 12. You guys didn't, but. For the bronze ray for this episode, you guys decide to choose Lago Junior, or it's Junior, but he's got 80 pace, 57 shooting, 65 dribbling, 68 heading. I believe that says he's got four star skills. He's a lefty. He is a decent overall player. He's about. He's probably the Zaha this year. Coming in at the silver, we have Cameronese, who has got four star skills. Absolute legend from Italy. Plays for Racing Club in the Premier Liga. He is unbelievable he's got, scored an unbelievable free kick with him and he's got great long shots this guy is an absolute legend definitely look to pick him up then at the goal player that you guys chose was tim howard who obviously plays for everton he was a beast in fifa 12 and this year i thought he was going to be beastly but honestly he's not that great he didn't do that well for me maybe it's because obviously i'm coming up against a lot better teams and because I'm playing it this at seasons, but let's get into the left back, and it's going to be David Santon from Newcastle. He's got 83 pace, uh, 73 passing, 73 defending, and 71 heading. He is a very, very good player. He is also right-footed, so you can cut in and do a couple of long shots. I wish he had a better long shot, but you can cut in and do some long shots with him, which is also very good. Coming into the first center back, we are going to have Taylor, who is also from Newcastle, and he's got 63 pace. 78 defending and 77 heading you know he's just a person to put into chemistry he's in, nothing really stands out about him he's a decent player but besides that he's not unbelievable and won't win you a lot of headers or anything coming in at the next center back you guys saw was it is Colaccini he's got 67 pace 80 defending and 80 heading this guy I think is a hidden beast he's unbelievable he's really good last year but this year he has got they upgrade him to 74 long shots which are almost as good as Dava Louise. he is unbelievable and he's so strong definitely try him out coming at the right back we have Zabaleta from Man City he has got a slow 69 pace but he actually seems a lot faster than that and then he's got 73 dribbling 81 defending and 77 heading so a solid right back over there he could actually play center back if you think about it with those stats but he does great at right back he's got a decent shot too coming into the center mid all the way on the right is going to be Ledesma and this guy has got some okay stats you see him 68 pace 61 shooting 70 passing 71 dribbling but he's weirdly got a great long shot he scored a ridiculous long shot probably the best long shot I've scored in FIFA 13 with him it was unbelievable and you're going to see it's probably going to be the second goal of this first one's going to be Cameron Aces obvious uh, free kick but coming into the next center mid we are going to have Pele Tiare, I believe is how you say it. Honestly, this guy is not really good. You can see his stats aren't great. 74 passing, 71 dribbling, but weirdly he's got 90 volleys. Don't know where that came from, but 90 volleys, you know, if you get him on the top of the box, <laughs> just take a rip with him. Coming at the center forward, this guy is one of the hidden beasts I've found throughout the series. It is Trejo. He is Argentina and plays in the Liga Adelante. He's got 82 pace, 63 shooting, 65 passing, 82 dribbling. You wish he would have four star skills with 82 dribbling, but he does have three star skills, unfortunately. But he is a great player. He's got like 91 acceleration or something. And to finish it off, it is the striker. It is Hugo Villarreal, I believe is how you say it. 88 pace, 67 shooting, 63 passing, and 71 dribbling. This guy is really, really fast. I believe he is on loan from Benfica, I think. Uh, but. He's got three-star skills. Wish he had four-star skills, but he is a great player if you haven't used him. And this is going to be the squad for episode two. If you guys liked it, you know, please leave a like. I will obviously show you guys some goals. But for the goals, right here in the right top hand corner, right now, is going to be the total cost of the squad. Not a very expensive squad. Very decent squad for the price too. And I use them. I'm in. I just got to. Uh, promoted to Division 3 and I used the squad throughout Division 4 and I think I only lost twice with them so it's coming up against some great gold teams and they held their own very solid team to use if you guys want a new team or switch something up but this has been FIFA Strike HD the goals are coming up and I will see you guys later peace